Hi, my name is Don Tipping. I'm here at Siskiyou Seeds at our home farm. And I wanted to share a few ideas around succession, uh, succession plantings. And for a lot of you, it's late May. It's actually the last day in May today, and you pro probably have most of your garden planted. However, some crops, you'll want to plant multiple successions so that you have a sustained harvest throughout the season. And I just wanted to share a few of those today. First and foremost is going to be green beans. So I have a green bean plant here. You can direct seed them, but I've found when the soil is cool, sometimes having starts is a useful thing. So green beans come on after about 60 days after planting and uh, produce a, a heavy set of pods for about two weeks. And if you keep them harvested, they keep going. But then eventually they senesce and they kind of fade out. So you'll want to start new ones about every two or three weeks so that you can continue that harvest because you can think let's say it's about June 1st two months from now is August 1st and conceivably you could have fresh green beans snap beans all through August and September and possibly even in October so succession planting with those the next thing I'm going to talk about is corn and this is a corn seedling normally we direct seed uh, sweet corn but you can also start in soil blocks. This is a seedling and soil block. We already have corn in the ground. This is a next succession. And so sweet corn is usually 70 to 90 days, depending on your variety of when it will be ready for harvest. So for us, we do a May 1st planting and then about June 1st planting and then a late June planting. So we have a sustained yield of sweet corn throughout the season. Another one uh, is your leafy greens. You know, a lot of the leafy greens like lettuce or this is a pak choy that you planted in the spring will bolt once the heat of summer comes on and they'll either turn bitter or in the case of the mustards, they'll flower and they won't be producing nice leaves. So you're gonna wanna plant more and keep planting them all the way on through for your fall garden. So, and you're going to want to try and find a spot in your garden where you have some shade or it's a cooler location because these crops thrive in the cool. And lettuce, uh, for instance, the seed doesn't germinate very well over 70 degrees. So you can see here we have this cherry tree and this table is in the shade in the summer. So we actually start a lot of things not in the greenhouse in the summer, but out here. And the last one I'm going to mention, and is uh, zucchini and cucumbers. There's a number of diseases and pests that attack uh, summer squash and cucumbers. Cucumber beetles being the primary one here in North America, and they transmit various diseases, whether it's uh, powdery mildew, downy mildew, or mosaic virus. So your zucchini may produce really well at first, but then eventually there's a lot of yellow leaves, the fruit maybe become misshapen. So planting a later wave that's coming on late in the summer with nice healthy looking fruit is really beneficial. Cucumbers I've found sometimes will even die late in the uh, season and there's even varieties that have powdery mildew resistance and that is a particular concern if you live in a really moist environment or if you're watering with uh, sprinklers as opposed to drip. So planting later waves of zucchini and cucumbers helps you have those crops later in the season. And a lot of folks, when they get into gardening, they kind of think, oh, I planted my garden as if it's a single episode. And one of my little mottos for myself to remind myself is keep planting, just keep planting. And for us, we're planting almost a year round uh, because we use greenhouses and in order to keep production spread out over the season, you want to think that and map it out. And in our uh, catalog and our website, we have a planting calendar here for Western Oregon that might be useful to you and I'll include a link to that planting calendar, the web link uh, below the video here. And you know, you may wanna figure out if you don't live in Oregon or a similar climate, what that calendar looks like for you to help you uh, map out when you're gonna do your plantings. So keep planting. And uh, to quote, uh, I heard Dr. Cornell West, one of my personal heroes say is, say, fail fast, fail often and then fail better. And you know, that may sound kind of cynical, but it's all about this idea of if we're only going to keep moving forward when we are successful, then we'll give up. But if we learn through our failures, and I learn every year, this is year 25 running a farm for me, 
I, I keep a, an attitude of optimism and always looking ahead. So thinking about successional plantings and always uh, trying to make sure that tomorrow is better than today and what am I doing to, uh, to myself today with myself so that tomorrow will be a better day for myself and all the people around you. So may your gardens flourish and be super abundant. Thank you for your time.